Let me tell you this, what I'm about to say is very important and needs to be heard and needs to like really be taken in by any young man watching this podcast is that you need to forgive yourself or remove any negative feelings you have about not being a millionaire in your 20s. That to me, even though it randomly happens sometimes from my experience, that's not number one as real as you think it is. I think a lot of it is LARPing. And then number two, it's not a realistic expectation. Can you do it if you work really hard? and you get in the right business model? Yes, I think you can. But to hate yourself or to be upset with yourself or to feel like you have failed as a man when you are still developing as one is not a good way to look at it. It's not a healthy way to look at it. And to be quite honest with you, it's not even true. What you should be focusing on is the efforts that you're putting into yourself to become that person that you could become in your 30s. I do think that you should be a millionaire by 40 because it's very obtainable for the average guy, especially in 2024. But to think that you should be a millionaire at 22 is horrible. You're not failing. You're seeing a hyped up expectation of what people on social media would want you to believe. A lot of times those young men that are acting like they're so rich, they're not. And they're just trying to trick you into either buying their course or they're trying to trick a bunch of young women into thinking they're a big boss so they can get a couple extra girlfriends. You're not failing. If you're working hard and you're developing yourself and you're studying, becoming better every day, you're doing exactly what you need to do. And I can tell you this from personal experience, you will be shocked at just how far ahead you are of the influencers you meet when you finally meet them. Keep your head down, work your ass off. You're not failing. It's okay. You don't need to be rich right now. Just go to work on you and you'll be ready for everything when the time comes and that opportunity comes in front of you. I just want to give young men that permission because there's buckets in life. There are plenty of people that I know that are substantially richer than me. Like they make me look homeless almost. They're so rich. I wouldn't trade places with them. For men, I believe there's buckets. There's a money bucket, there's style, there's swag, there's networking, there's your fitness, which is a huge one. There's intellect and being intelligent and being able to have a conversation to connect with a person. A lot of these buckets fills up. You can see a guy that's in world-class shape, best fitness guy you ever see on the planet. If he's dead broke, doesn't matter. You can see the richest guy that you'll ever meet, own skyscrapers, billionaire, whatever. But if he's fat and out of shape and uninteresting and not good to be around, like all the things that you have to develop to be a man, then he's just as worthless as the guy that's in shape that's broke. And so you have to understand it takes a long long time to develop all of these different attributes and all of these different categories. For you to think that you're going to have that all put together sub 30 years old is highly unlikely unless you have some kind of special father or special mentor in your life that can directly help you. Now, my goal is that we're helping guys find the right path, but they still have to go do the work on themselves. We don't get to talk to these guys every day. We're just trying to share with them what we saw along our path at that time and just hope that they take what they can from it, what they will and become the best person they can. But to think that they're going to have it all figured out at a super young age, it's just not true. And they shouldn't beat themselves up about it. It's not real. If there is a final sort of message that you could give, if you had to wrap it up in one sentence, what would it be? When I was 24, I made goals for 30 that I was not yet qualified to make. If you're a young man and you want to create the life that you truly want, you have to give yourself enough grace to understand it might take a minute. That said, you're on the clock. You don't have time to waste because your opportunity is coming to you. So be diligent about studying what you want to become learning that as deeply as possible, taking care of your body and being a version of yourself that the older version of you will be incredibly proud of. If you do this, you will live a life that many men will never experience.